right, we just had a 2015 Stuper Duty come in. It's got a 6.7 in it. And checking the light on. So I kind of jumped the gun, started working on it, started fixing it. And I figured I'd film what I was doing. So this is the vehicle. About 20 to 23,000 miles on it, somewhere in there. And the code that was in it is a P0544. So this is a bit of a odd code. You don't see this too often. It's for an exhaust gas temperature sensor uh, number one, which is, I mean, it's just rare. Um, now sometimes you get freeze frame data for the code. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's useful. Sometimes it's not. This had freeze frame data, but I cleared it obviously, but I mean, it didn't give any information at all. I mean, it showed right in range of all the other sensors. However, there's a TSB for this code and it's straightforward. You just put a sensor in it. You don't need to check anything. However, if you were curious, you can go to your data logger Just go to the exhaust system. You can actually look at the sensors. Uh, sometimes, like I said, they're just, I mean, blatantly obvious the sensors reading 2,000 degrees when all the rest of them are reading 300 degrees. So, we'll just get all the sensors and voltages. The voltage is just important. And um, so we're right in line. I mean, almost 100 degrees on 11, 100 degrees on 12, 120 on 13, uh, 100 on 14. I just had the truck running a minute ago. So that would be what you'd want to see. Uh, if we brought that up, and I checked one the other day, and it said negative 40 degrees. Um, so that obviously flagged the code. And then, like I said, if you're curious which sensor is actually acting up, you can unplug it and uh, it'll skyrocket. It'll go like to 2,500 degrees and let you at least know you're on the right sensor. So this one uh, will replace the sensor and clear the code and it'll be a wrap. All right, I apologize up front for all the noise in the shop. It's about 100 degrees in here. So I got a few fans going. I'll try to talk over them. <clears throat> so, here's the engine and transmission. And the downpipe off the turbo comes into the catalytic converter. And there's our first EGT sensor. And our second one, and the third one's down there. And the fourth one's in the end. So, we're going to change this one out. This is the part number, and this is the sensor. So, you know, in a perfect world, all you need to, on the Fords, all you need is a 13 millimeter wrench to get these in and out with. But things don't work perfectly all the time. So we're gonna install it with that, just a 13 wrench. We're gonna cut the connector off of it and use a six point socket and ratchet to remove it. You may need a hammer, put a little anesthesia on it going back in. We'll see how this goes. So the first thing we're gonna do is unplug the sensor. And I keep these. Um, these are pretty useful tools. Uh, 
You can use them to jump out of bad sensor, uh, to simulate a good one to get the truck out of the parking lot into your shop. Um, I just put a 100 ohm resistor across it, or a 200 ohm, simulates a couple hundred degrees, and you'll be able to start the truck. So keep these on throw more. the joys of living in the south. I came right out. I mean, it looks brand new. So. And that's it. Uh, biggest thing you just want to make sure that the connector is attached to the frame so it doesn't fall down on the gas pipe and melt. Right there. All right, so this truck is fixed. Uh, pretty simple. Cut and dry. EGT sensor code. Place the sensor. Which Luckily it is simple because the TSB only pays half an hour. So go get the vehicle out of the parking lot, bring it in, check the code, look it up to see if it's covered, go to parts, get the part, change the part, take the old part back to the parts counter, clear the code, put the vehicle back out in the parking lot, 30 minutes. So you gotta be hustling. And I went and drove this truck pretty far because I did a oil change and tire rotation. So uh, it's good to go. You may have noticed on the IDS screen, there was also a code for a configuration error. Configuration. Yeah. Um, this truck's been modified. It's got some different wheels and tires on it. And we're not really concerned about that code. It doesn't mean anything. It's not going to hurt anything. So uh, it's something that's going to stay in there. But we took care of the check-in and light, and the customer was happy.